What is going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you the basics of Parcel and how you, how you can get started right now. So Parcel is a web application bundler as you can see here. So let's say that you want to use one of those NPN packages that they're going to help you to easily create a cool web app. So you're going to need a bundler, something that compiles your code so your browser understands that code. If not, your browser will give you errors. You will never, never will be able to run your website or web app. Okay, so you're going to need something like Parcel and Parcel is very fast. So let's just scroll down here. Um, you're going to see some information and stuff, but I'm just going to go ahead and click get started. All right, so here you can see some instruction how you can install Parcel and you can see that they're using NPM. So before we get started, you're going to need node.js okay so go ahead go to node.js.org click on the download button here this recommended for most users just click on that download and install node.js on your computer and then after that you're good to go okay so let's go back here and you can see that we can just um the first thing um we need to install the partial bundler um globally okay so I have my project. Let's see. I'm going to open my editor. So this is what I have right now. I'm just, I just have an index.html. Um, there's nothing here. It's just, you know, the body is empty. That's it. It's just basic HTML. And now I want to create something. So let's open your terminal. And this is what you need. It seems like I need to, uh, not now, later. All right. Um, so let's go back and I'm just need to install the parcel bundler first. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to hit enter. And this will take, um, depending on your computer, but it can, it can take one minute or something like that. All right. Um, and now you can see that we have um, parcel is going to say for me updated because I already had it in my computer. Um, but let's check that we really have it. So I'm going to do parcel dash dash version. And there you can see. So um, confirmed we have parcel now so we can run parcel. So I now I need to make sure that I am inside my folder, which I am not. OK, so I'm going to uh, do CD space and then I'm going to just drag my project folder. All right, hit enter. And now you can see I'm in my folder is named um, parcel project. I'm going to do LS hit enter so I can see the files inside that folder. So you can see the only thing I have the in index HTML. So that's good. I'm just confirming that I'm inside my folder and now we can actually start using parcel. So let's go back here. And if you scroll down, um, we need to create a package JSON. And the only thing we need to do is this NPM in it. So let's copy this, go back, let's paste it here. And the difference between npm init and npm hyphen y is that npm init will ask you some questions. So let's do that. And here you can see it's going to ask you like package name, version. I'm just hitting enter, 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 enter. I'm, I do not want to answer those questions right now. So enter, enter, enter. Yes, we're good to go. So if you do the one with the hyphen Y, it will skip that whole process. Okay, I just want to throw that out. All right, so if I open now my editor, you can see that there's a package JSON created. If you click on it, is, um, um, you know, the details about your project. All right, so now that we're good to go, let's go back and we can add like uh, in this, index.js to our HTML file. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing they're telling me to do. I'm going to just copy and paste it. I'm going to put it here in my body. It's an index.html, but now we need to create it. So um, I'm just going to create a new file. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to call it main.js instead of index. You can call it whatever you want. Let's save it. Now I have a main.js. So instead of index, I'm going to change it to main.js. Yep. I'm going to save that. All right. So let's create, um, do something here. Let's console.log 
parcel is working. Let's save that. Now let's go back. And you can see that is as easy as running parcel in this .html on your terminal. So let's do that. Let's go to a terminal. Whoops, where's my terminal here? And let's run that it's partial in the .html, which is my HTML file. Let's hit enter. There you go. And now you can see they're, they're telling us the server is running at localhost 1234. Um, if you go back to your editor, you will see a new folder car called dist. And if you open it, you will have a new HTML, a JavaScript and a math file. So if you go to the index, it's the same thing, but it's pointing to this JavaScript file. And this one have a ton of code that is making everything possible, okay? So this is the magic right here. Um, it's creating this file for you. So the browser understands all the code that you're gonna create. So let's go ahead and click on this localhost. And here you can see it's blank, of course, but if you go to the console, let's see, parse is, working which there's a typo sorry parcel is working safe there you go parcel is working by the way there is a hot reload that comes with the parcel so every time you save you will see the changes let's go back and have some fun so now now that we have this main js let me remove this um let's go ahead and install one of those um npn packages so i have one here it's called unique, which it takes, is very simple, but it's very helpful. So it takes an array and it will remove all the duplicates. Is that simple. So let's go ahead and install this. So as you can see using NPM, so let's just copy this, install unique. Let's go back to the terminal. Um, and you will see that your server is running and, and parcel is running. So you can just um, press control C to get out of that. Let's install this package. I'm gonna hit enter. All right, the package is done. And I'm gonna go back again and run parcel. All right, good to go again. But now if I go to my editor, go to package.json, you will see dependencies unique. All right, so now we have these dependencies and it's inside this node module. Here you can see it, unique. So now we can use it. So let's go to main.js. And I'm gonna just do let, or, you know, it can be const unique. This can be whatever you want, but then it's gonna be equal to require and the name of that package, unique. All right, so now let's create an array. Um, let's call it uh, my list. And let's do one. One 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 six seven five four 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 four. So you can see that I'm doing this on purpose. That way you see um, what this is doing. So let's say we have this, and you're like, I don't want all these numbers. I just want the unique number. I don't want these all repeated numbers. I don't need them. So that's how unique comes and helps, right? So let's go ahead. Let's save, let's console log this list to see if actually works. All right, save, let's go back here. And you can see that is an array. There's 31 things inside this array and you can see all these repeated numbers. Um, so let's go ahead and use unique to fix that. Um, so I'm just gonna, ho I'm gonna ahead and put unique here. I'm gonna wrap around this array inside this unique function here. I'm gonna save it. And now let's see, let's go back and look at this. So now it's giving us only those unique numbers. There is no repeat numbers. It's, it's actually in order too. So let, let's say that we have um, a zero here at the end and I save it. Let's go back. Now you can see the zero at the beginning. So it's actually sorting the numbers, removing the unique numbers. Um, I mean, sorry, um, removing the repeated numbers. 
As you can see, this is working just fine. Simple. I, it took us a couple minutes to get it done and we are up and running. It is just, you know, a normal website. Let's add a title here so you can see that, you know, everything is working. Parcel. Save that. Here you go. So we have the H1 title here. Um, we have the unique list now. Everything is working. Now let's say that you want to, um, instead of um, having this code, you want to bundle that code, you know, for production, you want to minify this. So this is very simple. Um, if we go back here and we scroll down in the instructions, you will see the, here that we have uh, two different scripts that we can add on the package JSON file. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's just copy and paste. Let's go back to the editor. Let's go to the package JSON and we can add this right here on the scripts. Let's remove this test for now. Remove the test. And now you can see you can change your um, file here to whatever file it is. So index.html. Same thing here. Index.html. Whoops, I'm what am I doing? What is this mess? All right, now we're good to go. Now I'm going to save that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this build, which is going to run parcel build in the doc.html. So let's go back to the terminal. Let's press control C and I'm going to do NPM. Oops, run and whatever the script is. So dev will do whatever the same thing we were doing and build the actual bundle minified version of that file. So let's do build. There we go. So you can see here, they're telling us the files. So if you go to dist, now you will see more files here. You will see this one which is the one that we were using. And now we have another JS and take a look at this. See, so now we have this that we can use is going to run pretty fast on the browser It's minified version. And if you go back, they will tell you um, the size of the files. How cool is that? Huh? And that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.